We're still here. No chocolate was probably thousands strong in the old days. And we used every square inch of that hahoti. You know, there were people that hunted, there were people that fished. You know, they had these certain talents and they were going out to feed the whole community. And, you know, we always just took what we needed to ensure there was lots left. We didn't manage on wealth. I'm Jack Woodward. I'm the, I guess you'd call me the head of the legal team. And I'll be uh, on my feet on March 11th in Vancouver for a second round of arguments in the New Chatlet case. This is an amazing opportunity that uh, I don't, nobody's ever seen before where the judge came up with his preliminary decision and has given us a second chance to go and uh, describe what the Aboriginal title should look like. The court has found that the New Chatlet are the right party and that they have Aboriginal title. It's just a question of where. And so this is one of the maps that we've prepared to present to the court. And so this is what an award might look like. The white region that I'm showing here would not be included in it. And it's all the stuff that's colored in that we'd claim. And so each of these is one watershed with a village at its mouth. You're left with these unusual chunks hacked out of New Chatlet's claim area. It doesn't make sense that if you own this slice here, and you own this slice here, how could you not own this slice in the middle? And you can sort of make that same argument for all these white chunks where the court didn't find evidence of occupation. See, the judges looked at this map and he said, well, I think I can find Aboriginal title here. And that's the parts that are highlighted in green with the rivers. But, but, he, but he hasn't found it in these other, these white parts. The idea being that you have to prove Aboriginal title to every square inch, which nobody has to do. That's not the law. It would make no sense if every First Nation had to prove Aboriginal title with evidence of occupation in 1846 to every tree, to every rock. Of course, you can't do that. Nobody could ever do that. The answer to that is First Nations owned territories. They were Indigenous nations, and they owned territories, not just little places that you could scratch out. BC's response was mainly just to say, well, now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Judge, you said you thought there might be some title areas, like some small areas next to reserves. So that's all we're allowed to talk about. We can't talk about watersheds. We can't talk about chief's territories. All we can talk about is like maybe adding a little bit of beach next to this reserve. And so that looks like what the fight is going to be. Uh, we're both agreeing that there are some areas that New Chotlet should get title to. It's just that we're saying they should be large and BC is saying that they should be small. If New Chatlet can receive a significant award here, that will move Aboriginal law quite a bit forward. All of a sudden, you will not need to hire an archaeologist to go and count every single tree. Or for those First Nations who've had their entire territory logged and that evidence doesn't exist, that won't necessarily be essential here. So I do think this is a really big opportunity to open the door quite a bit in terms of how you prove Aboriginal possession and to make it faster and cheaper for every other First Nation going forward. And also, I, I just want to thank the Choco team and the Haida the height of people, you know, for being leaders, you know, for being strong, for doing what they believe in. We have lots of people that, that you know, come up to me and um, really appreciate what we're doing. But, you know, they're waiting for the, the win you know, to be announced so they can step in next, that, you know, we're a shining light to them now and they know that we're going to win. And we're here, we're not going anywhere, and we're going to prove that we can do better because we're in a chat. Two.